Thank you very much. Uh, thank you for uh, having me. Uh, yes, this is a, <clears throat> a very, very interesting time for for everybody around the world with the uh, COVID-19 uh, making the headlines. But with the youth, it's, a, it's particularly important because they are our future. You know? A lot of the things that we plan for with all these great plans for 2063 and, and all these kinds of numbers, you know, none of us are going to be around. So we need the youth to be here to actually uh, implement uh, some of those plans and attain some of those goals. But I would like to say that uh, my particular interest, of course, is entrepreneurship and business. And I think what COVID-19 did was uh, emphasize to everybody all over the world, while the global economy is wonderful, you really got to take responsibility for taking care of yourself, you know. Each country, uh, when they shut down the, uh, the airports and all the uh, borders to anybody else, they realized they were really all alone. So they had to look to their own resources to see how they were going to survive. Many countries um, had relied so much on China that they didn't know what to do. I mean, China was supplying them so many goods and services that once the Chinese were cut off from the supply chain, um, their whole economy was about to collapse. And of course, the impact on youth was felt heaviest uh, because many of them did not have employment or they were new employees. They were either new in business or they wanted to go in business. They were at the beginning of the economic process and all of a sudden the whole economy uh, shut down. So what does this tell us? This tells us that in the future, uh, what everybody should look forward to, and especially the youth, is to try to find some particular uh, either employment opportunity or some particular business that you can operate on your own. Africa needs to become more self-reliant. Africa needs to become more self-sustaining. A lot of the imports that Africa imports now from other countries, they could actually make them in Africa, you know, and, and, and get rid of the extra costs of, uh, of imported goods. Somebody was telling me a joke about Kenya one time. He said, you know, in Kenya, we actually import toothpicks, you know, and that becomes uh, the, the, the kind of thing that, you know, it makes you realize that you, you, you got lazy or you weren't paying attention. Well, COVID-19 makes everybody pay attention now because they, they make you understand that you have to become more reliant upon yourself and your neighbors and your own country for what it's going to take for you to survive. So I think that the, uh, the youth population, that's our only hope for the future, really, is to try to turn them in a direction where they will look to do things internally for themselves and that will benefit all of us. The other thing about education now, everybody wants to do many things uh, on the internet, you know, and I think the internet is a wonderful tool. That's all it is, it's a tool, okay? Everybody can't live off the internet. There's some people that have to learn how to build houses. You know, some people have to learn how to farm. The agriculture is still the number one industry in Africa. And that is where the future is going to be for the short term, without a doubt. So we need more farmers. And the farmers are not the old fashioned farmers. These are high tech farmers. These are people that do use the internet and other technology to increase the productivity of what the land can actually yield to grow more. To, to grow better crops. And I think the youth ought to look at agriculture as a way to uh, improve themselves and improve the country. Um, so once again, somebody was saying, we have to make the farmers uh, look slick, happy, you know, upscale. You know, if you're a farmer, you got something on the ball because you can grow your own food and feed your own family and feed some other people. You can make money for your family, for your village, and for your country. So we've got to upgrade the image of what a farmer is if we want the youth to get more interested in, in farming. 
Likewise, some of the other trades. You know, for a long time in the future, housing is going to be very important to Africa. Better housing is what Africans need and want. It goes along with everything else, health care, taking care of kids. Uh, they got to have a good roof over their head. So we need more tradesmen that know how to build houses. You know, so housing is very, very important. Also, as we go forward, we talk about uh, uh, food processing. It's another area that um, Africans can look forward to. There's no reason why we got to import our own food. It's almost like the oil that's coming out of the ground, you know. We, 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 the oil comes out of the ground in Africa, we ship it out to another country, and they refine it, and they ship it back to us as gasoline. You know, we've got to get away from that mindset and understand that we have in Africa the natural resources to do anything, anything at all that needs to be done for us to have a successful continent. And the youth is going to be the key to this, but we've got to focus them in that direction. Our educational system has to give them the skills that they need to survive now. And I think that um, as we go forward, we're going to find that the youth is going to be receptive to it. But the, 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 the elders, <laughs> some people uh, around my age and, 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 and older, have to give them some guidance and some direction and, and show them that there is a future for everybody. And they're a very crucial, important part of it. So these are some of the things I think I hope that we can discuss today and continue in the future and uh, see if we can't uh, motivate our youth to become a part of the solution uh, to what we're going to do in a, a post-COVID-19 uh, economy, because it will end. I mean, sooner or later, this, this COVID-19 will finish, and it, we got to figure out what we're going to do then. Uh, Dr. Beach, thank you very much for your wisdom and knowledge. Uh, the whole notion of entrepreneurship, as we were talking with Frank, uh, you have the uh, youngest uh, emerging population on the planet. And if you look at China, it has the oldest fastest growing population on the planet. Uh, so it's uh, very interesting, the dynamic that's uh, going on on the continent with among the 54 countries. And then what's happening in the European Union, uh, North America, China, Japan, and other places where they have a very rapidly aging uh, population. But you have a new dynamic, but at the same time you have new opportunities. And we will certainly tease those out in the, uh, in the questions. And we have a very dynamic speaker coming up next.